Hello and welcome to Forge TV. Coming up on today's episodes, we've got all the highlights from Winter Varsity. Uh, we've got some news from in and around the union. We've got an exclusive interview with Blackie from indie rocker band Gomez. And we've got a performance from a brand new up and coming Sheffield band called Clever Girl. And we've got an interview coming up now with uh, Pete the Psychic. And we're now joined by the University of Sheffield's very own mind reader, Pete Andoneo. So, Pete, at what age did you first realise you were different and could read minds? I think sort of when I was around sort of year six age, I just kind of, I was a bit of a weird child, and I just kind of thought, oh, it'd be cool to read minds a little bit like Professor Xavier from the X-Men. So I thought, oh, I'll, I'll do that, and started working on techniques to be able to read people's minds. So did you try to learn it before you realised you had a natural ability for it? Um, yeah, I suppose like it's hard to tell whether I had a natural ability and that's kind of wh why I was guided that way or whether the natural ability came from just trying it out sort of thing. But it was, I seem to have a natural affinity for stealing people's thoughts, like a mind ninja. OK, so were you the creepy guy at school, essentially? Well, I wasn't creepy in sort of a <sighs> creepy way, right, but yeah. just, just a bit different. OK, so um, your show features a lot of stuff like um, hypnosis and stuff like that. Now, have you ever used your powers for ill use? Um, I have, but if I told you about it, I'd have to kill you. OK, is there any kind of mild, uh, mischievous act you've got up to that you could tell us about? Um, I once convinced a, a, like a train conductor that the, the date on my out-of-date ticket was in fact today's date, sort of, just through sort of conversation, hypnosis, sort of distracting him a little bit and then planting an idea in his head. So I go, oh, that's a nice pineapple, and then he goes, what? And they go, oh, that's today's date. And he goes, yeah, sure, that's fine, and ticks it and walks off. And Is that what your show generally consists of, or what, what's your show all about? Yeah, it's all about me convincing someone that... But there is a pineapple. There is a pineapple, and the date is wrong. Okay. Uh, no, so it's sort of discussing, like, how people can use techniques like myself to both con people and how the government could use it to control you and in ways that are terrifying. OK, so uh, when can everyone come and see your next show in Sheffield? Oh, well, I'm um, next in Sheffield during the Sheffield um, Student Comedy Festival, which is the 12th to the 14th of March. Um, and there'll be loads of comedians there, and all the money raised goes to South Yorkshire Eating Disorders Association and Sheffield Nightline. And it's £10 for a weekend ticket, and you can see loads of shows throughout that weekend. So come along, and I'll be there. Excellent. So uh, remember to get your tickets for the University of Sheffield's Comedy Festival so you can come and see Mystic Pete.